None of these things seem like awful tasks by themselves, but look at that. It doesn't work at all. Are you serious? Brake system grease? Boats don't have brakes. You're gonna get a bit intimate with the boat. Might want to get consent first. Like that. Oh my God, almost fell overboard. This project just got a lot stupider. Every one of them is a multi-component thing that needs uh, reverse engineering and then re-engineering. So I finally have a day where I'm not going crabbing. Quite a few things that I just have not had the time to fix on the old Southern Girl because we have been crabbing every day and I've been running, running selling crabs every day, which is an awesome problem to have. It's not really a problem. It's great. It's business, right? It's the way it's supposed to work. But these boats, they require a lot of maintenance. We're just hard on them. Just spent a fortune at tractor supply, but got to spend it on maintenance, you know? Probably about 10 people in the store. About eight of them came up to me and said that they watched me on YouTube. TikTok and Instagram and Facebook and everything. Tractor supply, if you're out there, we have a lot of common people here. We can work something out. Because I have the memory of a goldfish on a good day, I'm gonna make a list of all the things that need to be fixed that hopefully I can pull off in the next day. Uh, we are not go crabbing just because it's blowing like 30. I wasn't even that mad because I'm way behind. I need like at least a day a week to catch up on everything and I'm still way behind. Shout out to Grundens by the way, providing me with all the cool, awesome, heavy duty f commercial fishing equipment I need. Oil change, fix the winder, place a throttle cable, fix place a hose. The first task we're gonna try to tackle is this throttle cable. It's been busted for a shameful amount of time. I broke it. Uh, beating CJ in a drag race. In the cabin, you can throttle down, but not up. In order to combat this problem, I've been having to sit here in my captain's chair in the cabin, reach around the corner and throttle up from back here while I drive up here. If I can throttle back down in the cabin here, because the cable has a part. You can push the cable back down, but it won't pick it back up. We need to pull the entire cable out and replace it. I can't get the replacement cable until I figure out how long this cable is. And it's just a jumper cable from here to up here. First step is to get rid of these covers here. Little hack, if you have a set of cobelt and you're not getting all the throttle, remove the back screw so this thing doesn't sit flush. Because I promise what's happening is that this thing right here is hitting inside of here and it's not letting you get wide open throttle. I literally thought my motor was screwed up for like a year. Well, I removed that one screw and now it lets you throttle all the way to wide open. So this is the cable that's busted. And the cable runs from there, back behind all the way up and around, down through here, behind the seat, through the wall, and then up into there. That means this one has to come out and then I have to fish the cable from there out to here. The issue is getting the new cable in. A lot of times you tape the cable, the new one to the old one, and then you pull the old one out and the new one pulls through. So you don't have to fish another one. You need to consult the uh, toolbox Phillips head hammer. Oh, oh where'd it go? I just had it. So the way these things work is that on your throttle side, you have one cable that goes to the motor. I'm guessing this bottom one, and then the other cable is a jumper to your other set of controls. So if I put this one in forward, that one goes in forward. See how they move together? It actually took me a really long time to realize this is how it worked. So I'll show you the problem. So we're gonna throttle up, see how it moves up. But then we try to throttle back. So we've determined which cable runs forward. That's the one we gotta pull. I'm gonna grab a zip tie and mark the cable that runs forward. This way, I don't accidentally pull the wrong cable. And I'm doing this because I've done that before. <laughs> what kind of Nimrod put a flathead screw in that thing? I actually don't know if that was me that did that. So you gotta take this little retainer off on every other one of them, it's got He's really nice, the proper Phillips head. And this one has got a rusty, regular steel flat head that's never gonna come out. That just makes this job so much more freaking fun. Of course, there's like zero slack in the cables. Need a bigger hammer. Oh, you stupid mother. <sighs> Are you serious? I got it out. Whoever put in a regular steel screw instead of this, that's ignorant, dude. 
Look at that thing. I really don't think that was me. That is something I would do. I just don't think I did it this time. This seems suspicious. Why is it working? This is gonna be a bear to thread back through, I can tell. So many zip ties. We got the cable out. It's in right shape. This is probably like a 12 foot cable or so. Ow. To the marine store. I got the cable out and it's 15 foot. I have kind of a feeling that I'm gonna have a hard time finding it. They actually had it. Thank you, Kobe. I got two. Got a spare, because I know as soon as I replace this one, the other one's gonna break immediately. I'm gonna go pick up some fuel here. On my way to CJ's, I'm gonna pick up some bait. I just got my cable. Go back, replace the cable, fill the freezer. The bait for tomorrow. I gotta fix the winder. Actually, I gotta fix my tiller steering arm first. I did just finally get a, a transfer pump for my truck for one of these transfer tanks. So hopefully I can quit messing with these silly little fuel cans. Actually right there, a lot of money sitting right here. I'm gonna try to just snake it back up through. There's not really any reason it shouldn't work, but that never stops things from working. See, that's the broken part of the cable. That's from the old cable that busted. We got the uh, new cable in here. We got to stick it back in the uh, retainer and probably have to do a little bit of uh, adjustment here. I'm probably gonna break the other cables here, trying to get this one back in. Despite what you may think, I kind of hate working on boats. So I always have to do it out of necessity. I never have the right tools and it's always in a time crunch. And working on boats is just a pain in the butt. I don't even know people that do it for a living that enjoy it. Look at that, it doesn't work at all. Son of a, it's too short. I wish this was an R channel because, come on, you dumb, I'm over it. Over it. Of course, I won't have the right screw. You just have to find the least worst. That's how my world works. It won't even come out. All right, so the new cable's kinda in there. Uh, not great, but I mean, life's about compromise, you know? I like how I'm throwing around this like $400 set of Cobalt controls like they're freaking garbage. But hey, I'm a dumbass crabber. Ain't no boat mechanic. We got it hooked up out here. We're gonna have to run it up into the cab. There's supposed to be a little plate behind this cable that like helps hold it, but it's like that one, but it's missing. It's been missing. So zip ties again. Ideal? No. Will it work? Most likely. Oh my God, why is it so stiff? Ugh. It's not good. It seems a little crunchier than it's supposed to be. I mean, it is working. It's smooth back there. It sounds like there's abrasion. I think maybe the reason this cable broke and the reason it's never been that smooth up here is because it's missing that little plate. So when it rides up and down, it like, it's binding the cable slightly on an angle. And it's wearing the cable out faster than it should. So I need the little retainer piece, for the back of this, the little spacer. There may be something in the attic here. Super sketch. I can never remember where the light is. Nice. There is some interesting stuff up here. That's a big steering wheel, look at that one. Wow, all kinds of good stuff up here. Probably not what I'm looking for though, although it's this big in all of this, so there could be 15 of them up here. There probably is. So I cannot find the stupid little retainer plate for this. I think I can make something. That might work. So see how this cable has this little plate it spaces the cable out so it doesn't bind. This one is missing it, and it already was missing it. I think when I pulled it apart, I do not remember seeing that on there. So I'm thinking I can use this door hook and cut this up to use it as a spacer and then put the cable retainer on top. Shout out to whoever bought me these six safety glasses off my uh, Amazon wish list. Definitely coming in clutch, I appreciate it. It may work to hold my cable. Is the makeshift retainer plate gonna hold? Oh, I gotta drill these out. Come on. All right, take two, holes are drilled. Look at that. That looks like it works great. That actually seems to have worked pretty well. See, just like that little plate back there, since I'm missing it, made one out of that door hinge. Seems to be all right. Cable replaced, that, 
I've been putting that off for a little longer than I should. The cable fixed. See, it's moving here, and it's moving up and back up in the helm, or, or up in the cabin. That is awesome. 